remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A whistleblowing Chinese doctor who tried to warn people about the dangers of the coronavirus is dead. This according to a state-owned newspaper. In late December, Lee Wanlian noticed a cluster of cases of people coming into his hospital with flu-like diseases. He said it reminded him of SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. He went to social media to share his concerns. Four days later, he was summoned to the local public security bureau accused of making false comments and disturbing the social order. He was told that if he did not stop, shut that trap, that he would be brought to justice. So he backed off. Lee was one of eight people authorities targeted for sharing false information in a heavy-handed approach that China's Supreme Court later criticized. He agreed not to discuss his concerns in public again, but in early January, he treated a woman with glaucoma without realizing she was also a coronavirus patient. It's being reported that he appears to have been infected during the operation. On January 10th, when China was still insisting there had been no new cases for a week, he started coughing and developed a fever. Two days later, he was in the hospital. His parents also fell ill. Lee broke his silence to give interviews from the hospital bed. He told the New York Times, if the officials had disclosed the information about the epidemic earlier, I think it would have been a lot better. There should be more openness and transparency. The death toll for the coronavirus had reached 563 by Thursday, with health experts prepared to meet in Geneva to develop a vaccine. Family, that's just China. And you better know that it's underreported. People are dropping dead all over this planet. Because a lot of people do visit China. And a lot of Chinese people migrate. They travel. So you better believe the death toll is really in the thousands. Could be in the tens of thousands. We don't know. Because China is very secretive. I wouldn't be surprised if they killed that man. Happens all the time in the U.S. Who's to say they're not doing it over there? And you know, you know, they they ain't got no problem taking you out over there. They'll tell you straight up, this is why you're doing it. They'll film it, show everybody. United States, they do the same thing. They're just sneaky. That's why it always trips me out when the United States uh, have dignitaries or uh, politicians call themselves trying to force some type of morale on other countries. It's absolutely astounding. But anyway, you got to be careful. If you plan on traveling real soon, make sure you look up where you're going and check the health stats because that coronavirus is spreading. I've heard people in London voice their concerns about it. So be careful out there, family. Man, RIP to the dot. I know they did it. What y'all think? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the haters talking about?